What are periphera? Did you know there is a kind of special animal called a periphera or sponge? Unlike the sponges in your kitchen, these unusual animals live in water and stay put. Today, we are going to learn some interesting facts about periphera. Let's get started. First, periphera are the least advanced group of any animal on the planet. In fact, for many years, scientists thought that periphera were actually plants. It wasn't until they observed these creatures drawing in food to their bodies that they realized that periphera are animals. Most sponges live in the ocean, but six different species prefer to live in fresh water. Unlike most animals, periphera have no mouth, muscles, heart, or brain. Their bodies are a soft mass of cells supported by a skeleton. The outside of a sponge is full of tiny pores or holes called ostea. These pores kind of look like the pores in your average kitchen sponge. They draw in water, which then moves to a central cavity called a spongocele, which is where periphera get food and oxygen. Then the water moves out through the osculum. Adult sponges are also sessile, which means they do not move around. And young sponges only move around 3 millimeters a day. When a piece of periphera is broken off, it will grow to become a new sponge. This is called fragmentation and is a form of asexual reproduction. Here's an interesting fact. There are over 5,000 different types of sponges and they come in all shapes and sizes. They can be flat or branchy, smooth or rough, soft or hard, mushy or prickly, or dull or brightly colored. Some are as tiny as a jelly bean, while others are as big as a human. The largest periphera on record was over 10 feet wide. Did you know there are carnivorous periphera? which means they only eat meat. Can you guess what their favorite food might be? It's crab. That is probably because crabs are the easiest for them to catch. When a crab scuttles over a sponge, the sponge can detect the crab with its spicules. And what are spicules, you ask? They are Velcro-like structures that cause the crab's legs to stick to the sponge. When periphera eat, they do so with each cell because they are all independent from the other. That means that each cell works apart from the other to digest the food. Pretty wild. Here is another interesting fact. Sponges can live up to 200 years. Back in the day, the ancient Greeks and Romans used periphera to pad their war helmets and armor. And throughout history, People have used sponges for bathing, cleaning, painting, and collecting. Nowadays, the sponges you use in your house are made from a factory, which means you will be the only animal scrubbing the dishes. Who knew sponges were so cool? Let's review to check your newfound knowledge. True or false, periphera or sponges are the least advanced group of animals on the planet. True. What is a sponge's favorite food? Crab. Fill in the blank. Adult sponges are blank, which means they do not move around. Cecil. Super job, sponge specialists. Periphera are a fascinating group of animals. The next time you pick up a kitchen sponge, think about its alive counterpart out in the wild. And don't forget to share what you've learned. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.